for years, many Seminole County public schools have prohibited students from bringing backpacks to school during the last several days of the academic year. Now, the policy is in force on all Seminole campuses, school district officials said. The Orange County School District also has long banned backpacks during the last week of school, hoping to cut down on students bringing items like water balloons to campus for end-of-the-school-year pranks. The Poe County School District announced Friday it was banning backpacks during the last week of classes in the wake of the Texas school shooting that left 10 people dead at Santa. Fay High School, I have banned backpacks to help us make sure nothing can get into the schools by any means, said Polk Superintendent Jacqueline Bird said during a news conference. We want to make sure that if an officer is on campus, they don't have to figure out where something is entering and how it's getting in. Neither the Lake nor the Osceola County School Districts have district-wide policies, but spokesmen said individual schools may ban backpacks as the school year winds down. Seminole officials said they decided to make the policy a district one to eliminate confusion for families who have children at different district schools. This is the last week of school for Seminole's public school students. No backpacks mean students cannot bring silly string or other potentially disruptive items to campus, said Mike Lawrence, the district spokesman. Also, students don't need backpacks this week as they already have turned in books and taken home their work, Lawrence added. And, he wrote in a message shared on the district's Facebook page, there are some obvious school safety. Of classes, Caption University of Florida President Kent Fuchs issued an apology on Twitter Sunday for the actions of an usher who manhandled multiple students, most of them African American, during a commencement ceremony Saturday in the O'Connell Center. University of Florida President Kent Fuchs issued an apology on Twitter Sunday for the actions of an usher who manhandled multiple students, most of them African American, during a commencement ceremony Saturday in the O'Connell Center. Caption teachers at Bridgewater Middle School in Winter Garden started celebrating Teacher Appreciation Week with a surprise Monday morning. Teachers at Bridgewater Middle School in Winter Garden started celebrating Teacher Appreciation Week with a surprise Monday morning. Caption Timber Creek Computer Science Teacher is a finalist for Florida Teacher of the Year. Timber Creek Computer Science Teacher is a finalist for Florida Teacher of the Year. Caption May 8th is Teacher Appreciation Day. Here's your guide to celebrating in Central Florida. May 8th is Teacher Appreciation Day. Here's your guide to celebrating in Central Florida. Caption Valencia College employees had unnecessary access to social security numbers for more than a million current, former and prospective students, increasing the risk of unauthorized disclosure or fraud, the Florida Auditor General found. Valencia College employees had unnecessary access to social security numbers for more than a million current, former and prospective students, increasing the risk of unauthorized disclosure or fraud, the Florida Auditor General found.